We got ourselves another mic from Toner. Not just is it quality, good price of performance, it also has RGB. So if that's the one thing you're missing from your streaming setup, this is definitely a video you're not gonna wanna miss. So while the theme is playing, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. And when we come back, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna take a look at it, we're gonna listen to it, and we're gonna check out the RGB on it. Before we look at the mic, I'd just like to say welcome to anybody new to the channel, and thank you and welcome back to anybody who maybe, you know, been to the channel before. So don't forget, as always, or if you're new here, there are timestamps down below so you could jump around the video a little bit easier. There'll be links down below for everything you see in this video where you could purchase this mic. They've been around for a while, so they have, you know, a pretty large list of items you could you know, purchase from Toner. If you're new to Toner, you may have never heard of them before. Toner is a company that's been around for a minute. I'll put more information up here because I always forget. So the owner of Toner has been in the music business for many years. He was a musician. And one thing he had noticed is that equipment is expensive. Mics especially very, very expensive. So he decided he was going to get into that business and actually try to do his best to give everybody quality products at a price that they can afford. Being a struggling musician, being a struggling streamer, seeing all these microphones that cost this much, that much, they do this, they do that, but the prices are outrageous, you may not be ready financially to afford a $1,000 microphone. The good thing with Toner is their prices are very competitive. They give you a great product with a great warranty at a very low price. You're gonna get more for your dollar than you will with other companies. This mic is under a hundred dollar US bill and you get the mic, the pop filter, and a boom arm all for under a hundred dollars. Let's bring you guys closer. Let's open this box up. Let's see what we get for our, I don't remember how much this mic was. I'll put the price again here. Yeah, let's see what we get for that in here. This is how you receive the mic when you order it off of Amazon. Don't forget there are links down below and there are timestamps down below. Two year warranty, the toner mascot, TC40 USB condenser microphone. Let's take a look around the box a little bit. So support, your serial numbers, the brand name, the polar pattern, things like that. So this is everything that's gonna be in our box. We're gonna have our condenser microphone our boom arm set, a shock mount, and a pop filter. Again, this mic is only this price, under a hundred bucks, and you get all this. Always appreciate a nice unboxing. Got some, some decent foam, so all our instructions. This is the piece that goes to your desk mount. So this is how you tighten it down. It's got a good rubber cushion right here. I'll show you how to actually hook this thing up completely in a moment. Here is our boom arm. So it is spring loaded. We'll take a better look at that in a moment, but I guess we'll go to our mic next. So this is the mic itself. Actually very pretty. Very nice. You can plug your headphones in right here. That's cool. And there's your volume and our mute right at the top. So everything you need is right on your mic. You connect your headphones, you got your volume, you got your mute button. And this is where it will plug in via USB. And we have oh, a couple more things under the box. This is our shock mount. Got some rubber band type items, a foam here to help dampen any like sounds when you like hit the table typing on your keyboard. Again, we'll look at most of the stuff up close in a minute. Our pop filter. So this will just basically go in front of the microphone when you're talking. This will help get rid of any wind or like when you're breathing, you know, hits the mic, makes like a, like a, like a wind sound, like a sound, whatever. Yeah, this is a, it's made of plastic and I think this is made of metal. We got ourselves some Velcro ties here with their brand logo naming on them. That's actually very nice. I like that a lot. We got ourselves like what, four of these and then our USB cable. I'll tell you how long it is in a moment i'll measure it out yep that's it in the box so now i'm going to set this up on the table and we'll take a closer look at everything we just pulled out of the box so let's look a little bit closer at our mic first because this is the you know this is everything this is what you really are paying for 
So again, we got our volume control right here. And again, this is where you plug in your headphones, our connection for our USB, and our mute button. So it's not like one of those satisfying touches, it's more like a and muted. Very pretty mic in my opinion, I like it a lot. Our pop filter, again, the housing is plastic. This, I think this is, I'm pretty sure this is a metal. Our Velcro ties, four of them. Our shock mount. So basically, again, this all this does is keeps the microphone you know, suspended to make sure that when you hit the table or something, the mic doesn't do all that. Also has their branding on the front of the shock mount, tightening right here. That's how you would actually screw it in. We'll do that in a moment. This is the piece again to set this to your table to lock it in place. You know, pretty self-explanatory, but I'll show you guys too anyways. Our USB connection for our mic measured out to about six, six and a half feet of USB. So that's a lot actually. Our boom arm, it's under spring tension. So you wanna be very careful when you're opening this. This is holding it in place. So we're gonna open this up right now. You're gonna wanna hold your boom arm, you know, close together with your hands, cut away from yourself. I hope you got two pieces of tape. and slowly open it up. And our instruction manual. And here's everything laid out. So let's put this thing together and see how it looks in its full setup glory. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is start with this right here. This is what actually holds all this to your desk or wherever you're gonna set it up. So find a good placement for this, just to at least get this started and then you know you can loosen it and move it around where you want. So this is gonna go at the edge of your desk, underneath the lip of your desk. Here, I'll show you. It even has the toner branding. So right here would be the lip of my desk, making sure this is as far down as it it needs to be to fit over the lip. So, oh, no, nope, still not enough. Keep unscrewing. Remember, right tight, left loose. So once you got it open enough, you're gonna slide it under, and then you're going to turn this to the right until you feel it get nice and tight. Try to keep it straight. It's not gonna go nowhere. Again, we have our toner logo right here. It's pretty nice, I like that. Now we're gonna take our boom arm and we're gonna find the base of our boom arm, which is this piece right here. You'll see this piece with the chrome, that is not the base. This is the base. And you're gonna insert it like this. And once you have it in the base, you'll see you have free range of it. You know, you can swing it around, get it where you need to. So with this right here facing you, you'll notice that this is threaded, this nice silver piece. You're gonna take your shock mount, you're gonna take this side of it, put it in here, and you're just going to screw it on. You can tighten this down to make your life easier and just go till it's tight. You may have to hold this and now our logo's facing us, that's on like that. Then you're gonna wanna get your microphone. Pay attention down here, you have these threaded pieces right here because they are going to thread in here. Right in there, it's threaded, right in that little area. So we're gonna take our mic, put it right in there, like so, and just turn it until it tightens up. Get it nice and tight in there. Make sure your volume button is facing you when you are done, like so. And again, if you find yours falling down like this, take this, tighten it, and that will hold it in place. Same thing for this, this will help with this part right here. So where you want it, you just adjust it. So you have a look something like this. You're gonna take your pop filter like so, and right here, you're gonna notice a hole. So you're gonna take this end of your pop filter and it's keyed, so it can only go in one way. Slide it in till it clicks. Now you have your pop filter in the front. So when you're speaking, you know, you don't get all that noise vibration. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the bottom of your mic right here. Take this end of the included USB 
you're going to notice that it has its own shape so it's keyed same as down here make sure you line them up give you guys a little bit better view see how nice this arm actually moves to where i could show you guys so like this put it in go straight you'll feel it click in take your mic now you got your usb connected so you can take your wire now run it up against here like so we're going to take out our cable take out our cable ties so there's more tightening around here in places so that way it won't do all that but let's take our four cable ties now and again they're really neat because they have the toner logo on them so we're going to take our wire depending on when you set it up where you set it up this is how you're going to do your cable management you're going to take this one right here right about there's good and you run another one up here you want to leave slack you don't want to put these tight because if you put them tight and you try to turn you could yank the wire right out of wherever you put it so you want to leave slack and that's basically how you would cable management you know you could do a nicer job than i did you know you want to put them a little bit tighter but you just want to make sure you leave slack that's the whole point of putting these just to keep them running along here. You know, I'd probably put this one up here instead and one down here, but four is more than enough. You probably get away with just, you know, two or three. But again, make sure to leave slack so when you're moving your mic and you're talking, you know, you're not gonna pull it, rip the cord out of something. And that is actually how you install your condenser mic to your boom arm and all that good stuff. Now, let's hook it up to our computer and see if it's plug and play. I'm assuming it is. And that's pretty much how I got it set it up on my desk. It'd be better to have it set up to the back of your desk or maybe on the side. I put it to the front lip where you can still see the logo, but it would go right there and it has some pretty good movability, as you can tell, you know, pretty cool. So let's plug it in and see what we get. As we can tell, we got some RGB going on over here. Check that out. And I thought it was just like one weird thing of RGB. No, it's coming out of the front. Also off of the reverse side of it too. Actually a lot more tasteful than I thought it was going to be. I thought this whole thing lit up with like LED lights everywhere. But really and truly, that looks a lot nicer than I thought it would. So the props go out to toner for making sure it wasn't like overdone. So I took the pop filter off to show you guys some things real fast. This blue light indicates that the microphone's working. Now, you see the RGB going, so you, you basically know you have power. Check this out. Tap the top, it turns red, the blue light shuts off, that's telling you you are muted. Now, let's say you do not want the RGB. Just touch the top, and as you hold it in for about two to three seconds, RGB is off, mic's still off, right? Now the mic's back on, as the blue in light indicates, but no RGB off, on. You're muted, you're fine. Again, just tap the top, hold it for three seconds. RGB is back on and you're not muted. You're muted. Pretty neat, right? Also on the rear, see if I can show you guys a little bit easier. Here we go. Right here, this right here is your headphone monitor jack so i do apologize this also supports zero latency monitors now let's test the quality of the microphone at this point i've just plugged it in and it's working just right off the bat it's on now if you're using a mac like an apple computer you're on mac os there are other instructions you need to follow they're right there in the manual you can also go online probably and see those too but otherwise this is plug and play. Now, one thing you can do if you're having an issue with the microphone is unplug it from your computer, plug it back in, shut off your computer, then turn it back on with the mic plugged in. It should recognize it. Let's open up our editing software. We'll try it there. Now, my computer over here is a water cooled. Oh, it has a CLC, a closed loop cooler, but the fans on my GPU are on. So there is other sound. So this is comparable to how it would sound when you're gaming, streaming, or doing a voiceover with your computer on. Now, if you're doing a voiceover for, say, a content creation like I'm doing now, of course you would turn all this off to make sure you know you have complete and utter silence. But I'm going to just do it as if you're streaming gameplay. This is what your audience would hear also. So right here in my software, you could tell it already picked it up right there. There's the TC40. For the device 
health helicopter flying over my head. I'm gonna bring the mic closer. So right now I'm recording an audio test for the Toner TC40. I'm about maybe about six inches away from the mic using the pop filter. I am not using any filters whatsoever. I'm just gonna play the audio straight, clean, clear. I don't know the word I'm looking for, but again, no filters over me. I'm not changing any sound effects, nothing like that. This is just regular captured audio from the Toner TC40 and from the uh, Boya wired mic. The audio quality of the TC40 is very good. I use the TC30. Uh, I have a video on that microphone also. This is the one I use. It says from Toner also. I like this mic a lot, but I'm really thinking the 40 sounds a little bit better than the 30. Also, I do like the RGB. Reason being I like the RGB is when you tap the top, it, it goes mute and you can just hold it in and shut off the RGB. So I'll probably be changing my mics out and start using this one instead of the 30, but you can find both of these on my channel. The TC30 I did not that long ago, maybe about four or five months ago. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up switching mics. I really did like the way this one sounds. I like the boom arm. I like the RGB because you could turn it off and on and it's got a clear big red light when you're muted which is good to know especially if you're streaming so i'm gonna give you guys some of the schematics on this mic again if i didn't do it earlier these are all everything you need to know if you're into sound i usually pick mics by how they sound and again this mic sounded very nice especially at the price these mics are not cheap usually well not these mics but Mics in general, you know, a good quality microphone is going to cost you an arm and a leg, where this will not. And you're going to get good quality, you're going to get some extra stuff you really could use when you're streaming. This boom arm, the pop filter, the shock mount, this all would cost you extra if you're buying a quality microphone because you got to buy the microphone and it's alone most of the time. So here, it's a one-stop one shop and you get everything you need. So let me know down in the comments what did you guys think of the TC40 and how it sounded. If you own a TC40, let everybody know down in the comments how your experience has been with them and also with Toner. Personally, Toner's been working with me and I've been working with them for the past year, year and a half. And every mic they've given me has been getting better and really and truly they all work very well. Well, that's my video on the TC40 from Toner. I give it a thumbs up. For the price especially, guys, it comes with all this extra stuff. That's pretty cool. I can't really say anything bad about it because, again, the price and then the product. The product's delivering more than what the price is. So it's kind of hard to throw it a negative. I've never had a problem with any of Toner's mics. Every time I plug them into any of my computers, they've worked very, very well. So, again, Toner good as always and if you guys enjoyed this video i have other videos on the channel go check those out and until next time late